Bungie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. This is going great. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, well. <laughs> you started with one vehicle stuck in the ditch and now there's two. <laughs> Tanaran, thank you for triggering the monkey pack. Oh gosh, I'm just stuck. Uh... <sighs> the monkeys are happy to see you. The monkey... That's a thing that happened. Um... Well, okay. How did that happen exactly? Because I kept getting tail. Oh, never mind. I know why. <sighs> All right. Z and C roll. Let's let's straighten out our camera because our camera's all twisted. Uh, fine enough. Drop it. It's good. You're so proper to set it down. I didn't really set it down. <laughs> oh, what's happened now? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, uh, kind of makes my eyes hurt. Ow. Thunk. This is as Fad would say, Derpa Longus is not Derpa Longus. If you hit your head, that's just it. And I just learned that. I'm like, ah, if I miss it, at least I'll, at least I'll slide in. There's like three levels to catch. No, no. Didn't know that was there, but I'll take it. Yes. Yes. I learned something and then I died. All right. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Oh, right. You can't jump on those. Okay. Hmm. That world is probably only quick because I am not going through it, right? Like, there are lower points that you can apparently fight through them to, to... <laughs> right, and then what do I do? Just click on them as I come? You should have an option to tackle. <laughs> oh, what, what button is tackle? Uh, I don't know. Oh, but, <laughs> that, oh my god. That is awful. <laughs> He's... Oh, now he's running again. No, no he's not. He's it. standing. Inter interact. Trying to interact with him. Alt command. Get out of the way. The Rocky Horror Show. <laughs> we Rocky. will, we will rock you. <laughs> Come on, clip that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in Mercury there? Yeah. I didn't I even grab it. Flaw in this bus, and we're gonna exploit it to maximize our benefit. But, you know, if you wanna be realistic, alright, come on now, bus. Roll! Roll! Okay. Okay. He fell asleep. How did you fall asleep on this bus, sir? <laughs> uh, Ma'am, your head's out of the bus. Please put your head back in the bus. Please. All right, we got to back up like this because I can't see a blooming thing. Uh-oh. 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 Never mind. We're going to get inside the bus. Come on now, bus. Come on. There goes one of our decent buses. Oh, here we go. She's doing dog cam. Leave her alone. Okay. I'm stuck on a mound. 
Help. Uh, your things aren't fully retracted yet. Which one is... You want construction site one? Do I want to try Which and... Which is where mm. Serenara and Dara. Try to ram it. Or right, something. Okay, I, I, I think I, I can see highlights there. Does that mean they're there and I need to go down there? The Stay pink with. triangles, yeah. Yeah, okay. No, no. I'm on, no. I'm on, I'm on my way. <laughs> you need to fully retract your things yet. Oh, the... Um, that is the most... Yeah. Old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, I, do I need to ask, or should I just assume it's excavator things? I'm a trainer, how you doing? Cyan, how you doing? <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> what, what are we building? I don't know. What are we destroying, Molo? <laughs> there, there's currently having a turn. Sarah and I went to the moon. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a curse. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I've got a problem. We've all got a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got a problem. It's called a lawnmower. Oh, Houston's on a blinder. Oh, God! <laughs> Jeez, that was close there. <laughs> you murderer. You murdered me on that lawnmower. Absolutely. <laughs> <It's a> shreds. <laughs> I can't see you online. I'll just... Try and find it in the list. Okay. Hold on, I will send a friend thingamabobber as soon as I find you. Wait, how do I do that? Oh, because I'm invisible. Why don't I make myself online? And then I can like, click you and invite to game, right? Invite I to game. So. There you go. Ooh. Play game. I already am, but okay. I forget that I have to I have to do two stages in order to go online on Steam. <laughs> like me with the self checkout in Tesco's, We're doing all of the steps, but then not actually paying for the banana. Banana thief. <laughs> yes. Right then. We're going to the natural oh. state oh. in our natural state. Natural state of being for me is squirrelness so is yeah. that the case yeah, pretty much arkansas is the natural state which whatever that's just stupid state thing okay. at least washington is the evergreen state and it's full of evergreens and california is the crap state no wait that's not really what they are what are they the golden state <laughs> i thought it was the sunshine state no that's florida oh i still have 1% clear on my... Are you actually in? You are. Okay. I will take a job now. External oh, contract. Just... Now that you have all the same DLC as I have, we won't have another fluff up. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I've got farm machinery and forest machinery. That was when I said yesterday I thought it was a bundle, but it just turns out I just didn't read. Well, I mean, reading is hard. I had that problem when I was putting moving my computer to this new sit-stand desk. I needed a... Uh, eight foot uh, HDMI to display port. So yeah. I go to Best Buy, and I also needed uh, I also needed a six foot um, power cable. So I got the six foot power cable. Brain went, eh, and I grabbed a six foot HDMI to display port. I made it out to the car, and I went, what? So I went back in and exchanged it, but I was in a rush. And I went over to the place where I got that cable. And right next to that was one that said 10. I was like, sweet, 10 feet. Grabbed it. Check out. Get home. It's a 10-foot display port to display port. <laughs> so I went back to the store to get a 10-foot HDMI to display port. And when I was returning that, she goes, you already, or you already exchanged this once. I go, yeah, I don't know how to read. Apparently. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I get that. That's my day every day. I'm like, good, at least you understand. At least they were sympathetic and they weren't just like, uh, what an idiot. Oh, I'm sure they were like, freaking idiot. But, you know, whatever. Maybe they were inside their head, but they're being customer service people. So they're like, oh, you have a nice day. Mm-hmm. Well, thinking, what a doofus. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. All right. All right so uh, I don't know yet. I haven't. I haven't made a pickle. Pickle. Pickadillo. That's 
probably not correct. Uh, <laughs> we want to take a telescopic handler to, no, I don't actually, hold on. I want, I want this to be a relatively not painful drive. What is that, Fort Smith? I want to go to Fort Smith, game. You know, Quiet, what I, you know what I could do? I could type Fort Smith. Oh, there's no jobs to Fort Smith. Well, that would explain why I found no jobs to Fort Smith. Okay, fine. We'll go to Little Rock oh. then. We can take. I got milk. We can take, but her milk, um, <laughs> to Little Rock. We're taking Here's... everything but her milk to Little. Why did you turn off, you stupid controller? Bluetooth. It's not Bluetooth. I wired it back in. Oh. Because fluff and Bluetooth. Uh, where um, am I going? These, this headset is the one that uh, Wolf recommended, the um, Steel series. I don't know. I don't think that's Bluetooth. I think it's just regular radio. Well, this this one has a dedicated Bluetooth. <laughs> I just tried to honk at you instead of turning on my windshield wipers like a numpty. I don't know if I'm at the moment. I'm in a You're not. You're definitely Kill me. not. That's why I went around the corner. Went around the corner. Went around you. Whatever. Words. Words are hard. Yeah, so, everything's hard, it's a hard. Yeah. Uh, so eight a uh, sensitivity has reset since the game updated. Oh, well. <laughs> I yeah. So I um when I switched this over to the Bluetooth for the hot minute before I realized Bluetooth is a pile of garbage that needs to be burned in a fire somewhere. Um I uh yeah, the steering sensitivity was like Holy cow, I literally crashed three times just trying to get through the, the fuel stall because it was like the smallest left or right was full lock. Yeah, this is not right. I might need to adjust it, but I could just uh, grin and bear it for a minute. Mm. Being super sensitive. So like Wolf, super sensitive. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I've been super sensitive this week. I've just been all over the place. I'll just be like really happy one day and then I'll see an advert and there's a kitten in it and then I'll be in tears for some, for no reason at all. Like, no, for a very good gone. reason. You have good reason. Yeah. But, oh, so I switched back to my wired controller and I was like, okay, good. Everything will be normal, right? Except for in the span of switching to the the um, the Bluetooth controller and back to the wired controller, ATS forgot what button I used for throttle and brake. <laughs> and I was like, what the fluff? And of course, I did it while the truck was moving. I jumped into the menu and I was like, oh my gosh, I have no brakes. <laughs> and uh, did you do that whilst you was because the truck still keeps going, right? Truck still keeps going. <laughs> like me, ended up in a hedge while I forget to put my parking brake on. Mm-hmm. Hey, Hitman, you had problems switching between two wireless controllers? Well, I've given up on the whole wireless concept. Everything is wired. Except for my headset. Because <laughs> it works. I've given up on wire wireless stuff. I'm going to take this mouse back. It was an $80 mouse because I bought a gaming bluetooth mouse and it's rubbish i've never gone with wireless mises i have one for the office that i use well, like one of those ergonomic ones with a vertical stand you know yeah. sort of stand up and that's quite handy and it was a cheapo from amazon like 15 pounds see da good enough das has one of those and it works fine on this computer because it's using a i think it's using like a it's using that logitech like you know, Logitech packages their own receiver in there. Yeah. But this mouse, despite being a Logitech mouse, didn't have its own packaged receiver. And when I fired it up, it immediately tried to connect to my work laptop upstairs. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have a wireless mouse for my work laptop because obviously I travel a lot with it. But it doesn't matter if it has a leg on it because it's work, right? Yeah, it's not needing to uh, 
<laughs> get a headshot at 300 yards. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I tried to play Fallout 4, and it and I was like, what is wrong with my graphics card? Why is everything all stuttery? And I realized all the stuttering was literally the mouse was drop like I think half of its connectivity was dropping. So it was causing the game to wig out. So I'm like, this mouse shall go back to the store that I bought all the wrong cables from. They're going to be like, what is Blade wrong? is going to be like, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, at least I'll be able to go in and say, I have tried everything I know how to do with this mouse, aside from setting it on top of the computer that has the Bluetooth receiver. And uh, it doesn't work, so. Mind you, when I first connected my Bose to the PC, I had to um, enable, I had to put the antenna in the back of the machine's case because it, the, the signal just wouldn't go more than a couple of feet. And I thought Bluetooth was supposed to be quite long range, so yes, yeah. turns out I need an antenna. Well, and that's back weird, because like, like if, if I... If I activate my Bluetooth headset for my personal cell phone, where I have all my amazing Frog Leap Studios music, I can leave my cell phone in my office and I can pretty much cover the entire house. I just can't go in the garage. And it, or the basement. And it's fine. Yeah, that seems about right. But I was finding even with my, um, when I first got the Steel Series one that uses RF or wireless rather than um, Bluetooth, the little receiver, the only USB C port I had was on the back of mm. my case. So I had to put it right at the back of the case, which is right in the corner of the room, far end of, the, of everything. So I could right. barely leave the room. So once I moved it to this new case where I had a adapter, uh, like a front USB C, that's a game changer. I could go the entire of the house and even into the garden. And it doesn't cut out, which is amazing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I like wires. I, I like wired stuff because, while it doesn't look pretty when you build up the desk, right? Like, it just fluffing works. <laughs> yeah, there, there's something to be said for that. When I got rid of my head tracking thing, that was one less wire, and then it cut out. Uh, well, cut out three wires, actually, because then you just end up with the one receiver, the Toby receiver, and that's it. Don't need anything else. Yeah. Whereas before, you needed the webcam, which was a USB -C, USB slot. You needed the little sensor clip that goes on your head. That's another USB. So right. it's just, I had a USB hub for like 12 ports, and I'd filled everything. Yeah. Um... The LED lights aren't really necessary, but I kind of need <laughs> and don't forget my fancy 22 beacon that I never use. Right. Why is my laptop auto searching for Bluetooth devices? Sounds like a security risk. I actually don't know, Hitman. The fact that it's doing it, I actually should report to my security team at work because it shouldn't be. Um, it should be broadcast when it's pairing, right? Yeah, I think I think it what it. I think because it's got the Logitech software loaded on it anyway, because the wireless mouse I have is a Logitech mouse, it it actually was re reaching out to the Logitech receiver, which is a Bluetooth receiver designated for Logitech devices. So I think it was doing that. Uh, that is not my accident, but okay. Uh -huh. That was late. Yeah, that's what I thought, Hitman. Like immediately, I turned on the uh, the mouse, and my lap, my work laptop was like, "Hey, you want a pair?" I'm like, uh, "No, why are you even doing that?" It's like, it's like. Um, I something. These are all the frequencies I search for, all these signatures when I search for when I come on. So if it, if a new Logitech device appears, it must just go, "Hey." Well, I, I was like, "What? What are you, the Tinder of com computer pairing?" <laughs> Uh, Fluffy's in, by the way. Hello, and hello, Hitman. Sorry, I did forgot to say hello. And hello, everybody else as well. An M720. What is this thing? This is a MX Master 3S Q27. No, it's just a 3S. 
It's a piece of crap, is what it is. Sorry! Lanes are optional. I've just got a bargain basement. Logitech G502? 302? One of them two. One of those. Yeah. The thing that annoys me is that the lights aren't multicolored. It only goes blue. Well, I, I mean, the mouse, I, I, when I tossed that mouse aside, I, uh, I went back to my old wired, like, five dollar mouse. Works great. I just can't set the desk to stand height. But really, I didn't buy the desk for stand height. I bought the desk so it could go low enough for a certain small squirrel. But on reflection, I don't know if it does. Yeah, ours is uh, ours doesn't go that high. Well, I can certainly set mine to my uh, my partner's height, and then I can't even get my elbows on the table. So, yeah. Yeah, I have it set at its lowest setting right now, and I don't think it's quite low enough for small squirrels. But what are you gonna do? It's cheaper than buying another. Uh, um, workbench from Home Depot, which is what the other computer is on. That'll go low enough, but it was like an extra 150 bucks to do that. And I was like, meh. I know that you could park a car on it safely. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. I think it's rated to 1,200 pounds. So I posted in Fluffy's Discord, I bought a new game yesterday on Kojo's recommendation. What was it? Bus Sim 21. Oh god. <laughs> um, I haven't played it yet. Oh, I want a stream of that next Saturday. Oh, I'm not going to be here. Oh, never mind. Do it another day, I want to see the, the reaction. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll stream it. Right now, I'm you know, I'm trying to work through the farm sim. Guess what? Um, after all that work to get that truck and trailer and loading ramp. It didn't seem like the, it was the right height when I glanced back. Well, so yeah, the, the, the fixed position loading ramp would not work. So I bought an adjustable height loading ramp that is a towable loading ramp. Now, that's so what I cotton bales and stuff. Do I? For cotton bales. No. It's just a loading ramp for, oh, right. yeah, for driving something up onto it. Um, so I was like, this should work. This will be fine. Everything's good. And um, so the, the problem I ran into is no forklifts fit in the truck. <laughs> so I went and bought or bought. I went and downloaded something I had before, which was a pallet jack. That fits in the truck great, except for you can only single height because it only lifts high enough to just slide the pallet across the ground. Oh, yeah. And it's not strong enough to lift a double stack of honey, and I actually need a quad stack of honey. You just didn't need a coat cider, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna actually. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to a curtain cider, because then I can get that that stupid electric thing that we had in uh, Pulse Scene. Yeah. <laughs> and good luck with your uh, super sensitivity on your controller. I don't use my controller for for anything on Farm Sim, so. Oh. Well, Wolf, I could have created a separate game, cheated in a whole bunch of money, tested every single mod, made sure everything worked exactly as I expected it to work. Or I could just YOLO it and create content. I chose to YOLO it and create content. Because we also bought a crappy Kenworth cab over uh, box truck that was the twitchiest thing ever. You were just going down the road and it was like... Yeah, I literally wanted to tip over at the smallest input, so... So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of back in the... Ugh. 
stage. I don't I, think I've ever got, gone a jeep and hunting in any of the farm sims. <laughs> well, I remember Fad went through all of his old farm sim games and just redid all the achievements, and that was a mission. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... It's fine. It's, it is what it is. A lot of them I'll get just in the course of getting other ones, so... But it's not as easy to get those achievements now as it was. Like, if you wanted to go to Farm Sim 19 and get achievements, you'd just be like, no. Nah. Because nobody's playing it. Yeah. Well, it'd be easier, honestly, in Farm Sim 15, if I had a Steam version of that, which I didn't. I, I bought that direct from Giants. Why are you driving slowly, truck? What are you doing? Probably a dead sheep now, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's dirt cheap now, but, um, oh, because I now I'm trying to pass you, you're going to step on the gate. You freak. Um, but the mods that were available back for the Farm Sim 15 and even 17, back even 19, like, basically you would get the achievements because you download a mod that, like, did something and it made getting the achievements super easy. Yeah, like downloading a big bud and then a 10 meter plow or something. Get your plowing miles up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'd, you'd have the big bud and the giant plow that big bud ran or the giant <clears throat> cultivator big bud ran. And you'd be like, yeah, this is this is fine. This is cool. And they'd have maps that were big, giant American square fields. <clears throat> and and you just do one field and get all the achievements for plowing and cultivating and sowing and whatever. Yeah, because it was like 200 hectares or something. Yeah, but Farm Sim 22, I'm just like, this is just, well, the 40 cotton bales thing, I'm just like, that is just stupid. The fact that it is bugged and has been bugged since, why is everyone driving slow? <clears throat> it's raining for me, so maybe they slowed down. Oh, it's not raining for me. They want me to go to the way station. Well, I guess I'll do that. Alright, I'll just uh, pancake this car and then I can get into <laughs> Every time I go looking for mods in the mod hub for Farm Sim 22, I'm, I'm reminded that those mods are quote unquote curated and so the decent mods aren't there because I don't think Farm Sim, I don't think Giants appreciate some of the really nice mods because it takes cutting corners and accepting some issues in order to get some things to work. What are you doing, truck? Let me over. Do you not see the blinker? All right, that's it. I'm coming over. Butt waffle. Like one of the mods I spotted that was uh, literally a gold mine. You, you mine gold, turn it into bars, and sell it. And as you can imagine, the gold bars are hella expensive. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, they've got the iron mine thing now with the with the premium expansion or platinum expansion or whatever the heck it was. I've never used it. I don't know how it works. No. Uh, I swear, since the update, the AI traffic. Careful, there's been another collision on Merge. Wasn't me. <laughs> what, did you just approach it? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's just like, since, since recently, in, in the past, like, what, couple updates, this has become more constant with slow driving traffic, Nobody able to merge to save their lives. Just like, what is going on? It was my little mishap last week. Well, yeah, well, there was that. That was you just being a squirrel. No, it was the merge. They just merge right into me. <laughs> sure. I was very grateful for uh, 
Texas not having central reservations. <laughs> yeah, you you did quite the uh, quite the mer movement to. Yeah. I never you, watched the clip actually. The case said I should go watch that. You should. Yeah, you were pretty much up on half your wheels. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you there, T. Whoa! <clears throat> so I'm I'm working through the farm sim achievements in a in a slow and measured manner because I get bored easily with plowing a field or harvesting a field. Like that was three hours yesterday to harvest those fields, and that was big equipment and using helpers. Yeah. GPS as well. Does the GPS mod count? Or could you just put it on the line and go? I could if I could figure out how the frick the GPS mod works. I literally have to sit down and figure it out, and I, and I didn't feel like doing that. As soon as I opened up the control thing, like when Kurt was like control or Alt C Control S or whatever it was, and I opened up and I was like, yeah, no, close. <laughs> I just, I, we ain't doing. Yeah, I'm just like, that is not happening on stream while I'm trying to do this. Hey, JR. So, yeah, I could use a GPS mod. Hired workers is fine as well, I think. Does that still count? I think, but I'm really close to the 100 hectares of harvest, and I harvest my own fields. It was just I needed to do other things. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, I, so I get bored easily in, in farm sim. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing Fallout 4 when I'm not doing farm sim. And remembering why I'm not big into the Fallout games. Like, I love... I really like the TV show, but the games I can't get into either. I've never seen the TV show, don't plan to, but... Um, what... My problem with the Fallout games is the assumption that in a terrible situation, human society will break down and will not reform into anything suggestive of a cohesive society. Like, there'll be a group of people who are nothing but jerk waffles whose whole life will revolve around attacking and killing and maiming and stealing people from everybody else. At no point in early society was that actually the case. Like, there were subsets of people who were brigands or bandits but that wasn't their whole whole livelihood right they did it as a reaction to external sort external pressures that caused them to move into that direction but whenever possible they tried to fit into society because to fit into society is what you want to be want to do because if you don't fit into society in, in prehistoric times, that meant that you were going to become saber-toothed tiger food. So I'm like, there would be a breakdown in society, but society would reform in some functional way relatively quickly. Or at least I hope it would. I would like to believe that it would. I would also like to believe Oh my gosh, truck, come on. Yeah, I mean, on the bright side, a lot of people, a lot of the dumb people would just self-select themselves out of society by doing dumb things. What And what also kind of bothers me is it's 200 years since the bombs fell, right? Nobody's rebuilt anything. Nobody's thought, you know what we probably should do? Like... Put a roof on this place. <laughs> yeah, why everything just still looks so dilapidated everywhere, even Las Vegas. Right, yeah, I'm like, there's, there's a... 
it took me a long time in Fallout 3 before I tweaked onto the fact it's 200 years since the bombs fell. I thought it was like 20 years since the bombs fell. Because everything was so dilapidated. So I was like, once I found out it was 200 years, like, no, this is not right. That's why I prefer the Elder Scrolls series, right? Like, it's got its own problems, but at least there, there's there's dilapidated stuff from the Dwemer and whatever, but people have built other things, so. Oh, good, you're going to leave me hanging out into the... Ugh, all right, fine. Security check. Oh, you couldn't open both gates, just one gate. Thanks, jerk face. <laughs> But I'm going to finish Fallout 4 because I do like some of the things where it where it 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 basically sets up a moral decision. And I'm, and I'm always like, who would choose the morally re reprehensible path? And then I realize a lot of people play these games specifically to play morally reprehensible positions because you don't want to do that in real life. So you might as well just be morally reprehensible in a game. Yeah, I suppose. I played Mass Effect and wanted to do a Paragon run and a Renegade run, and I couldn't bring myself to do all of the Renegade choices. <laughs> We're going to take soybeans to Texarkana, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I, I, a lot of a lot of those games. Oh well, that was not the direction I thought that trailer was facing. Um, a lot of those games where you can make good and bad choices. I always try um, to do the bad choices, but I very quickly it's like no. I do make a lot of like. Um, what's the good word for this? I don't care choices. Like, your problems don't bother me. Do whatever you want. Why are you asking me for for a decision on this kind of thing? Does that make sense? It's like, it's nothing to do with me. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. Yeah, kind of like a... I mean, I guess... <laughs> Doss saying that I'm chaotic neutral kind of makes sense. <laughs> like... Doesn't affect me. Will this cause chaos? Potentially. <laughs> Whatever. Or I might do it for the money, right? Like, I don't agree with your decision and what you're trying to do, but are, how much are you going to pay me? Oh, you're going to pay me that amount? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> On your head. <laughs> On your head be it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That little truck. Oh, hi, car. Didn't see you there. <laughs> they got lucky. They squeaked by before I rammed them. They were behind my A pillar. Ah, America, where our headlights don't do anything. <laughs> Average trucker experience. Well, yes. It's my average experience anywhere. What direction are you I going, Car? The, um, what? I saw, I saw on the intro screen when it uh, the cruise in Arkansas uh, mission thing it actually ticks off which ones you've done now. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, that's pretty cool. I've just been using a spreadsheet all these years. <laughs> well, I am going to deviate slightly from the route to go get this um, viewpoint, because I really don't care about the viewpoints, so I don't care if it's dark. Is it part of an achievement? 
it's part of an achievement. Of course it's part of an achievement, so therefore I'm going to go and do it. And it's a box anyway, so it's not like we're going completely out of things. Mini Mumbles! Hello! Welcome in. Welcome to our chaos. Gosh, the speed you were approaching me on the, the mini map, I'm like, ooh, brace for impact. <laughs> How close was that? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Did you fix your steering sensitivity or are you just living with it? I just I haven't touched it. You mop it. It's, uh, yeah. it's not too bad. I've adjusted it. Uh, adjusted to it now. Uh, so should we t should we turn your brakes all the way down and uh, stability all the way down too? No. Oh. All right, that's enough um, of that. So we're not ghosted, so I will not uh, carry on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally let it load and then immediately exit out of it. I'm like, I don't care enough. I will say, Arkansas is one of the few states I have not been to real life so I got a lot of co-workers and friends there for some reason I've never been there they've always come to me is there something uh, Arkansas is famous for I don't know Doss used to live there oh, we can ask her then. When, when, when she was a, a small squirrel which is an odd statement given she is a small squirrel when she was an even smaller squirrel yes <laughs> And I shouldn't be in this lane, but here we are. <laughs> so be in the left lane then. Yes. <laughs> uh, been there, got miserably motion sick on mountain roads. They don't have mountains in Arkansas, Mumbles. They have small hills. It's like saying that the UK has mountains. They don't. They have small hills. Hey. You do. Well, even the tallest mountain in the UK is short. Oh, I can't remember off my head, but it's like a thousand meters or something. More than that, probably. But yeah, what, what are you at? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, every day. we're a shave under a mile high. Yeah. And I didn't die of lack of oxygen. No, no. You just passed out all the time, which, you know, it's probably for the best. <laughs> Though you you were definitely tired after that day, we went up to to twelve and a half thousand feet. Oh yeah. Took me a while to recover from that one. As I recall, we did absolutely nothing the next day, right? Correct. <laughs> Mainly because I drove all that distance, and I was like, I am not doing anything the next day. Yeah, you drove for like eight hours or something stupid that day. Yeah. And we didn't even leave the state. <laughs> didn't even come close to leaving the state. Yeah, Mumbles talking about Colorado. going faster than all these trucks are speed limited you bet you're going faster than me why is there a vehicle with lights on it behind me hope it's not trying to pull me over because I am pulling over where are you what happened to you I'm only about a mile behind you oh so why is there a truck with flashing lights behind me It's going to pass me, though. They're orange lights, so I'm not scared. Not that I'd be scared anyway. Interesting um, statistics for you. Not really that interesting. But my graphics card, I, I turned on the stats just to see how much the new game I got, Space Marine 2, affected it. Because I was thinking, oh, my graphics card might not be good enough. But turns out it was getting up to, like, 60 degrees. And uh, farm sim, uh, no, 
this game is putting it up to 52 degrees Celsius. So it's not much of a difference really. And I think Space Marine is probably a bit more taxing than ATS. Well, I mean, obviously it's more taxing in gameplay given that you uh struggling so hard. Oh god, I had to turn it down to easy and I still die. Good game though, but props to those people that play it on, you know, Ultra or whatever it is. You are insane. <laughs> After I died for the sixth time in the tutorial on Medium, I just decided, yeah, it's just not, this isn't fun. This isn't fun. So you know I was going to carry on and keep bashing my head against it, but my partner said, just turn it down, you'll have more fun. And he was right. Well, I, I legit play most games on easy now. Like, I, I have to work every day through stupid. Um, which is my coworkers uh, and my company's own decision-making process, which is legitimately mind-melting. I, I don't really care to simulate anything else more difficult. Yeah, well, this granted, this game here is probably more my pace of game, so going from this to Space Marine was a bit of a shock to the system. Well, I mean, that I mean, I play Fallout 4 on easy. I play Skyrim on easy. I'm just like, I don't care. It's, it, to me, it's really about the story not proving I'm some sort of lead game player. No, I mean, ATS doesn't really have difficulty, per se. Right. But it's just a chill game. Space Marine, definitely not chill. Yeah, yeah. if I want to prove my, my lead gamer cred, I beat the original System Shock and the original Doom on hard. You Back. used to play Doom on hard, you know, the ones with the enemies teleport in and stuff. Yeah. Really bad level, nightmare. Ultra Nightmare, whatever. Yeah. That was hard. But oh, well, I just doubt that I didn't have to work. Yeah, and I played I played Wolfenstein 3D on the highest difficulty and beat it. Back in the day. Like, that's my gamer cred. Back in the day I could do it. Now, no, don't care to. I want to get a good night's sleep so I can be well rested in the morning. Right. Uh, like, I will stay until 4am because like, I want to. Well, if I want to be up till 4 a.m., I'll play City Skylines or uh, Civilization. I say, or Dasa play uh, whatever else she was playing. Uh, Dasa play anything, and she'll be up until 4 a.m. Well, not right now, given yeah. right now she basically is laying around with her foot elevated. Muppet. Yeah. Another way station. Really? Really, Arkansas? Really? Mumbles. Worst driving experience driving through Colorado. West side 85, sunny. Denver was 30 and whiteout snowstorm. Well, that's just normal around here. I mean, heck, we can have a whiteout snowstorm up here in, in uh, the Fort Collins area, and it'll be sunny down in Denver, or vice versa, which has happened many times. Thankfully, every time I've been on the bus, we, we left we left Loveland, and it was... Hold on. Oh, God. Controller, why? Controller, why? The flop was that? Okay, hold on. Controller, what are you doing? I got a way station bypass. I take it you did not. I didn't, but I'm having other problems right now. Okay, are you up my rear end back there, truck? Okay, I guess I'm bypassing. Okay, I'm bypassing because somehow my, the controller just decided it no longer wanted to operate, and the truck just kept going. Oh. And then all the buttons were just going, doing their own thing, and I'm just like, okay, you just dropped the trailer. Why did you do that? What's going on? Uh... <laughs> anyway. I, we were doing a convoy, and then I just stopped at the junction, and instead of putting my indicators on, I uh, dropped the trailer for no reason. <laughs> like, hmm. Well, that was weird, because... Ugh. Like, literally, the game was just like, hey, you need to stop. You need to stop in order for that action to occur. I'm like, what action? I want the brakes. Nope, you don't get brakes anymore. Uh... Thankfully, my brain quickly remembered that I could press space bar and get my, my uh, emergency brakes, parking brakes. Oh no! Hold on, truck. I'm about to cut you up real bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it 
only added an extra 50 miles. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, you went that way. I got it right. I saw it, and it was too late to do anything by the time I saw it. Ah. All right, Marioth, welcome in. Sorry. Sorry. That was weird. My controller just, like, I don't want to be a controller anymore. I want to be a desk ornament. And is this the one that continually turns left, or is this... Uh, this is the one where the left? throttle gets stuck open. Oh. Which, left I mean, you take your left. pick what you want. Continually turning left, looking left, or the throttle getting stuck wide open. I mean... Is that what happened then, do you think? The no, no. Just, nope. Uh, I literally stopped responding to any input from the controller. And it's running wired now. Yes. Weird. I don't trust ATS because they did that update with all the controller changes. So, anyway. Uh, what was I saying before that disaster happened? Near disaster. Thank goodness I wasn't uh, trying to make it. Weird weather in different oh, yeah. parts of the state. Yeah, so I... I went and got on the bus, Loveland, and it was cold, but it was sunny cold. And uh, we headed down towards Denver, and it started light snowing, and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. We get closer to Denver, and it is like chucking it down snow. That's when I sent, I sent you that picture of that motorcyclist in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> brave person well probably doing the exact same thing got up went oh it's sunny and cold you know sunny and cold i'll take the bike but no it was the a lot of snow in fact it was so much snow the buses have um auto deploying chains for their drive tires and the driver had to deploy the chains and when we got to downtown denver it still got stuck and we had to hike like, well, I had to hike eight blocks, and because it wasn't supposed to snow like that, I was wearing my usual, like, office shoes, not boots. Squish, squish, squish. Uh, yeah, when I got in the office, I then took off my shoes and stuck them at an air vent, took my socks off and put them at an air vent. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine you sitting there looking all corporate and businessy barefoot. Yes, well, we... In the office while people look at you sideways going, what? No, actually, in our company, that would be perfectly normal because in, in our corporate headquarters, our founder wore what he called his founder shoes, which meant he wasn't wearing any shoes or socks, and he wandered around the office. And then in our Denver office, our, our old uh, chief operating officer, he'd wander around barefoot all the time. So it's just normal. Just unhygienic, though. Yeah, well, I mean, not really, is it? I mean, I walk around the house barefoot all the time, but I don't, you know, that's my I house. walk out, I go outside all the time barefoot. Car, why? Why? Why, car, why? Uh, Sorosha, thank you for the prime sub. Sorry, I was in the middle of a story slash rant so <laughs> thank you welcome uh welcome in to the chaos the and the 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 yeah all of it thank you yeah chaos sums it up pretty well yeah pretty much we haven't had too much chaos today apart from your controller deciding it didn't want to do its job <laughs> right you have one job controller i went the wrong way and added 50 miles to my journey but that's okay that's normal car you could go you have a turn signal on i see your turn signal on go you muppet oh you turn your turn signal off you tit waffle <sighs> all right there's another viewpoint up here that I'm going to get before I go to deliver my trailer. So I know that ATS's update messed with my controller some. Because I don't have vibrate turned on on my controller. And it is vibrating like nobody's business. So I'm blaming ATS. I'm something with my wheel sensitivity as well because it is crazy high. Right yeah. Uh, I wish they would not do that kind of stuff. 
breathe on my uh, steering wheel and then I've crashed into something. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Did you get the viewpoint okay? Yeah. Just have to make a wide turn afterward because the viewpoint is basically straight out from the road you have to turn on, but it's all doable. I don't know. I came in like a Kurt's alive. Hi, Kurt. How you doing? Hi, Kurt. All right, we made it to Texarkana. All right, let's see where else we can go in our Kansas. Uh, that's Texarkana. Pronounced like that. What? Why is it pronounced funny, not like it's spelt? Uh, because it's... Is it French? Either Arkansas or Kansas. One is one is one language, one is another, and that's why you pronounce them differently. Uh, we can take some frozen food to Jonesboro. You're sore. Did you drink too much, Kurt? I mean, the answer is probably yes, but. Too Were much you... singing and the dancing? Well, he went he went to a wedding, I think, yesterday. But also, like, other things happened. Uh, where's the trailer? The trailer is there. Your knees hurt. Um, there's so many things I could say to that. Um, do you have rug burn on both your knees? <laughs> From dancing. <laughs> 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 that doesn't help. I mean, it really doesn't. <laughs> Doing the horizontal polka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, we're going all the way back across. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <clears throat> I didn't want to go to another location to pick up. I like being able to just pick up from where I drop off because makes it easier. Wedding dance on concrete floor is no bueno. Well, that's true. Concrete is a terrible floor thing for most activities. That's why. That's why I never understand why. Um, I mean, I know why, but the concrete tile gubbins at every fast food restaurant, it's like, well, you want to know why your employees hate working and want to lean all the time because your floors are terrible. That's why. The old famous adage at the at every fa every restaurant I've worked at: if you can lean, you can clean. And I'm like, I'm gonna clean out your clock with a kick in a minute. <laughs> Get your trailer? Yep. Alrighty. We're on the road again. It's nice to see Arkansas in the dark. <laughs> I know, we haven't seen much of it in the daytime, have we? No, not really. I forgot 
that there's an expedition going on on No Man's Sky, and it's all to do with fishing. Something that I find utterly boring. Sorry to any people who do like fishing. So I have even less enthusiasm than normal. <laughs> the only way you should go fishing in No Man's Sky is with explosives. I don't know if they let you do that. No, they probably don't. But I mean, because most people frown upon dynamite fishing. But um, that that really should be the only way to fish. I can't stand fishing. I just. Thassa's dad would take me fishing on his boat, and there'd be like a bunch of fish, like jumping in the water and stuff. He's like, cast over there, and he'd cast over there, and he'd catch a fish. I'd cast over there, no fish. I'm just like, this is stupid. I hate fish. I will eat them. Someone else just has to catch fish them. Fish are fine to eat. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch it myself. Really, dude? Really? Don't honk at me, you're the idiot who can't turn. No, that's me. Oh. There. Ah, I'm right behind you. I know. I'm rolling back just far enough to clear his trailer so maybe he can frickin' figure out how to turn. Like half the Americans who don't know how to make a turn into the proper lane. Oh my gosh, I ha on that note, I have a similar story. Um, we got new neighbors who have just moved in and he has quite a small car, a Vauxhall Corsa. Um, and he's not very good at parking because he managed to put it in really close to my side of the parking space so I was just struggling to get out, uh, get into the car next time and then he sort of apologized and moved it over the next time and then his mum came over um, to bring some stuff and unpack I presume and she was driving this enormous huge Lotus electric SUV um, that she obviously had no idea how to park. It's as big as the guy next door's van. <laughs> huge. And she was just utterly useless in the car park. She needed two people with torches to help get her out. And then she put her nose half in my parking space because she couldn't work out where to go. It's like, oh my god, woman. Why are you buying a car like this if you can't drive it? I mean, that's every American who drives a giant frickin' SUV. And then I made the guy... the the Corsa guy's life so hard when I came back from the shops and reversed into my space the same as I always do. He'd gone nose first into his space and he had to reverse around the van behind him and he was just going back and forth and back and forth and I said, do you know, I'll go over there just so you're not in the way and then you might want to reverse into the space next time like the previous neighbours did and he, he looked really worried because he's like, you know 20 years old and barely drive and um, the next time he came to the space I came back to the car park, he had actually reversed into the space, and I'm like, yeah, well done, because <laughs> he was terrified about it, doing it. And I thought I was going to make him nervous if I sat there while he was trying to get out, so I just sort of went to the other side of the car park and sat there for five minutes while he worked it out. <laughs> Seems a nice enough guy, but my goodness, his mum with that giant car can just sod off. <laughs> yeah, I think... I, I, park on the street. Yeah, I just, people who don't know how to park their vehicles and then they go and buy big, like the number of badly parked F-150s here just drives me insane. I'm like, if you're buying it, you need to be able to park it proper every time. Yeah, and not, and not, normal, right? and not use sensors and backup cameras and all that gubbins, like just learn how to drive the vehicle. I'm assuming this Lotus thing must have had sensors all over it, right? But she was just utterly clueless. No, oh, it probably was yeah, beeping so much it confused her. Yeah. <laughs> Thassa's car has those sensors. I turn it off the minute I get in the car. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is a different beep. What does this mean? Oh, is this the lane thing? Or is this the uh, the auto steer? Or is this the, uh, you know, adjustable cruise control? What's that bomb mean? Oh, no, it's just I put my shopping bag on the seat and it thinks that there's no seatbelt. Okay. Oh my goodness, the Volvo I test drove. I like. I was so glad I got to this stoplight that I knew was a super long stoplight. I got to spend the four and a half, five minutes turning off all of the crap so it would quit screaming at me for everything. It's like, you're speeding. I'm like, I'm going 31 in a 30. Fluff off. Um. You're exiting the lane. There's no lane markings. Shut up. Um, <laughs> you're you're leaving your lane without your blinker. There's still no lane markings. Go away. 
and then getting and then stopping at the stoplight with a car in front of me. Oh my gosh, you're getting too close to that car. Like a motorcycle can fit between me and that car. Oh my gosh. And that's when I was like, every one of these has to be turned off. As long as they let you turn off some of them. They do, but but that was that gutless piece of crap that had an eight-speed transmission that I hated. I oh, love so I, from the start then. Yeah, I loved the look of it. The look was amazing. As soon as I got in it and I gave it the full beans to get on the interstate and it just went Bleh, I was like, okay, this is not going to work for me. What uh, model was it? Uh, V7, V60, V7. It's, it's a station wagon, the state thing. It wasn't the 90, it was the other one. Yeah, because I know they do an SUV, the XC90, I think it is. Uh, I don't want an SUV, I want right. a car, so. I don't. Yeah, Volvos, uh, I've never driven a Volvo, but they seem sturdy. I mean, the, there's a lot of nice, cool features on them. I, I totally can get behind, but the nannying well i was just like go away especially all cars are going now isn't it with all the aids and things you can't actually just drive it well without yeah parking it without just going off in your ear. yeah exactly and and then the the whole speed thing like the cool thing is it had a heads-up display that was really cool like being able to see stuff without ever having the glance down was like that is amazing that is really neat but then you go one mile an hour over the speed limit and it loses its ever loving mind. I am not stopping because last time I tried to stop at a way station, my controller blew up. Um, <laughs> it lost its ever loving mind when I go one mile an hour over. Here in Colorado, if you are going the speed limit, you will have a stack of cars behind you. I did not get a bypass, so I will pull it. Okay. Now I go the speed. I go exactly the speed limit in any road that is forty mile. It's got a speed limit of forty miles an hour or less. Like I will go exactly the speed limit because at that point you're in a residential area. But when you're on like any of our interstates, well. If you're on the interstate, the speed limit's 70, and if you're not going 95, you are in the slow lane blocking traffic. <laughs> um, but then our, our four four lane city roads, like, it's 45, you better be going 50 at least. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that... the 30 mile an hour roads around here, the equivalent of residential and stuff is all, I'm always a bit paranoid that somebody could be walking up the side of the road or on the wrong side or anything like that especially around our neck of the woods there's kids playing in the street and cars parked absolutely everywhere so if somebody was going down a hill on a skateboard which can happen at the same time a car comes around the corner oh my gosh I just the thought of someone tearing up the street at 40 mile an hour when that could happen just terrifies me yeah yeah that's why you know I like drive super slow in those areas i i am um, it's been well and we have the 20 mile an hour speed limits that kick on when kids are about at the schools like before during drop off and pick up yeah i will go exactly 20 miles an hour yeah there's but, 20s around our schools as well and they usually put markings on the road like cash lights on the road and stuff to tell you to slow down because it's a school yeah we have the blinking lights that turn on when it's 20 mile an hour and um because you know on non-student days then they just don't turn on the lights and then you can just keep going whatever the speed limit is usually 35 but there's this one part where you can't see the school because it's back in a residential neighborhood but there's a lot of kids that cross this this four lane road five lane i guess because it's got a turn lane and it's a 20 mile an hour limit when the kids are about the number of times I'm going 20 and cars just blow by me because it's got that extra lane and I'm just like oh my goodness one time I had a a bus for a uh, after school 
care program blow by me in that 20 mile an hour limit you better believe i called them <laughs> yeah if there's a if there's ever a company driver doing something stupid on the motorway like using their phone or driving at like 100 mile an hour i'll just ring up the company and go hey by the way <laughs> yeah yeah i was i was like yeah your driver blew by me at the 20 mile an hour limit and i do have a dash cam in my car so i can provide that and they were like thank you for letting us know and for the past like two weeks that i've been going they've been going like 15 through that 20 mile an hour limit it's like they're like yep they must have gotten a telling off <laughs> so they're going slow enough now oh they're going they're going lower than the 20 mile an hour limit and i'm like that's fine it's <laughs> brawling along yeah some of the vans on in the, the the uk on the back of them they have a how's my driving with a number to call so that's always fun to uh call and then i think there was a comedian that did a joke about that once where as soon as you call it's the driver that picks up and you can see him on the phone as you pass and he's just look glaring at you yeah but no in reality it probably goes to some anonymous service and then they get told somehow well i i called one of or i emailed when i was biking when i used to have my road doing road biking and this tractor trailer for a company was so close to me it the air put the air flow around the truck pushed me off the road oh wow and so i i emailed them and i said and if you'd like the camera footage i can send that that usually is all it takes for them to say no thank you we'll take care of it <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. yeah because the, the next place is and i'll forward it to the police too thank you <laughs> Oh. Yeah, there's at least a, a, a website where you can upload footage from dash cams and then they investigate and they, they every now and again certain police forces put out compilations on YouTube of all of the uh, things that have been sent in and what happened to the drivers and all the fines and stuff they got and that's quite interesting but I just hate watching those because it's just some of the near misses with cyclists and people crossing the road and literally just getting brushed by the wing mirror. It's like, oh, that could have been so much worse. Well, there was, there was an it's article like, I saw this week a motorcyclist <clears throat> posted their footage on youtube and from that footage they got a hundred and sixty citations <laughs> <laughs> were they being an absolute lunatic like doing stupid speeds and wheelies and all sorts of stupid things? yeah they had a hud on their on their footage and they were going down mountain roads at like a hundred miles an hour they were driving on the wrong side of the road that, yeah, it was just absolute hooliganism. And so they got 160 citations. I mean, at least if you're going to do that, just blank out the speedo. <laughs> they can tell you're doing stupid things, but at least they can prove you're doing stupid things at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's like, well, they just lost their license. Uh-huh. There's a... a the, 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 we were talking about the 20 mile an hour rule outside schools. Sometimes those schools... Uh, road sections have speed cameras you know how us Brits love our speed cameras mm -hmm. and uh, there was a case once where somebody got done for doing like 32 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour limit but in the middle of the night uh, so it was like 2am or something and they were contesting that they shouldn't be fined because they were doing still a sensible speed but they were trying to argue but it was outside of a school and the guy was arguing back at 2am on a Sunday so he shouldn't get such a harsh penalty because it was 2 a.m. on a Sunday, and there's not going to be any school kids about. Which is kind of a, meh, I sort of see your point, but no, not really. <laughs> see, that's why I like our lights, because they only kick on when necessary. Because, you know, again, at why make everyone go 20 miles an hour when you can go 35 miles an hour at, you know, 2 a.m. on a Sunday? Yeah, I can't remember if the guy got off or not, but it was, um, it was an interesting case. Yes, you shouldn't be doing 35 in a 20, but there was nobody there, so... <laughs> right. <clears throat> well, that lane disappeared for some reason. Oh, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some interesting things happening. Yes. OK, 
Okay, either I have the windows down in this truck, which I don't think I do, or those were some really loud frogs on that overpass. <laughs> Point, so I'll let you know if I can hear the folks as well. <laughs> You'll hear them in your right ear. Like You'll just hear this rabbit, rabbit, <laughs> <laughs> You did? <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Those freaking loud frogs, man. <laughs> Cop on the side of the road as I almost run into him. <clears throat> you don't have fines turned on, right? Oh, of course not. I turned fines off when it kept dinging me for right turn on red. I, uh, I read an article where <clears throat> someone decided to put the exact same prompt into like six different AI, Gen AI systems, to see how they would perform. <clears throat> and it was image, they were image AI. <clears throat> it was super interesting. The, the differences were quite stark. And it was like, wow, that's, um... and it was three different prompts. One of them was like, Hey, Doss. Um, one one of them was like uh, a woman taking a selfie in a room with blue paint, and there's a yellow plant behind her, <clears throat> and it has a soft focus, and the and it's kind of misframed like that. Like these are really complicated prompts, mm -hmm. and some of them, some of this stuff was just like, whoa, that's not right. And then they did one which was. Um, uh, the two that were in London. One was um, something where they had a, a street in London with Big Ben in the background and uh, a sign in neon for something. And then there was a person with a newspaper that had some other text on it. <clears throat> and it was like, well, that's that's odd. One of them had two big bends in the background, which was a little odd. Um, one of them, the woman was standing in the middle middle of the street while traffic was approaching her, um, which was a bit off. Uh, one of them that it conflated the text in the newspaper and the sign. I was like, what? <laughs> and they did another one, which was. Um, Victorian London foggy day woman has a newspaper that says something and etc 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 and <clears throat> some it came back really weird like one of them was very steampunk which was kind of fun but it's like that's not right but <clears throat> amongst the the three different prompts at no point did the same gen AI produce the best image Do you think that's a problem with the prompt or well no because it was the, it was the same prompt for every single one and they all came up with wildly different images yeah yeah i don't know i'd like to see that article actually if you happen to have a link but um i don't know the only time i've used generative ai to make a picture was that one time <laughs> i asked it to uh for some reason ask a, a bird driving a tank and it had a it came up with a parrot using its claws to uh, operate a steering wheel on top of this little ti little tank. <laughs> it had four sets of wings, which is a bit odd. Uh, well, you mean like the squirrel with two tails? <laughs> yeah. I think if you, you know, used actual real editing on some of them, you can, it's a good base to start on. Well, that that's what I said when in my in my AI talk that I did at the conference. The one thing I said about it was it's not going to replace, um, it's not going to replace creatives, right? Like, 
artists and illustrators and that, they're still going to have jobs. What it's going to be great for is idea generation. Yeah. Like, this is what I'm looking for. Can you please make this squirrel not have two tails? Or it's riding a motorbike. Why is the kickstand down? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, hot dog. Yeah, what what Doss said. We're 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 doing our own little convoy. Yeah, just the two of us. That's a song. That if Wolf was around, I'd sing it, <clears throat> just because then it would be in his brain. Yeah, is he playing ATS tonight? I don't I forget what he said he was doing. I mean, I know they're doing fluffy trucking. Mm -hmm. oh, so we are. <laughs> oh, so we are. Yes. Let's see if I could take a, a right, wrong turn two deliveries in a row. I don't think you will. If you manage to screw it up in one mile, I will be impressed. You seem to be worse off when you're leading the convoy. Or when I've gotten so far ahead of you that you can't follow me. Oh yeah, I did see that we were supposed to turn right at that junction the last time, but by the time I spotted it, I was already sailing past it. So. <laughs> I couldn't do a YOLO like you did. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done the YOLO, but I didn't care about that truck, so YOLO. Nope, I went into this lane, but it becomes one lane. All right, well, whatever, game. At least it's daytime, though. We can see some of Arkansas. Yeah. Looks very green. Uh, yeah. That would be accurate. Philly cheese steak pizza with jalapenos. Nice. Jalapenos. Jalapeno. Oh, you're, you're going to go? I get to go? Because I'm the... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to kill all of you drivers. I had one of those situ situations yesterday where I was going somewhere and I got to a four-way stop and the truck to the right of me who stopped well after I came to a stop decided he was going to go anyway. And he, I started rolling forward and he hit, hit it and flipped me off as he drove by. And I was like, okay, cool. Mr. I've got a big truck and I'm more important. Right on. So is that rule then if you stop there first you get to go first yeah whoever stops first goes first otherwise if you both come to a stop at the same time the car on the right goes but i was stopped and starting to move forward when he got to his stop but he literally did a california stop and then went and gave me the finger and i was like all right cool whatever makes you happy i guess what an unpleasant person yeah all right, where are we going to go? Let's see. We've been to Little Rock. We've been to Texarkana. Ah, oh, we're going to actually have to just go to the straight external market and go somewhere else to pick up something. Oh, wait, there's nothing in Jones. <laughs> there's nothing in Jonesboro. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I already told you what we were going to do for lunch, Doss. Did you forget already? I mean, the answer is yes, but. I made a bit of a hodgepodge dinner today, but it was nice to know. You thought that was dinner. Well, lunch and dinner. I usually only eat one thing a, a day anyway anymore. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, it'll be a late lunch, Doss, because, you know. Have you already picked the job? Yep. We gotta go pick it up. Unknown job. Oh, Why is it unknown? It should be unknown. Is it because you haven't picked it up yet? Ah, uh, could be. 
We're going um, to the Tyler or whatever. Up by the 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 uh, picture icon, the camera icon. Correct. Why does it not want me to go straight here? I want to go straight here. Why? Oh, because the interstate. Okay, got it. A I got trained some World Five because I got the free the free pack. In theory, was supposed to upgrade you from Train Some World Two. And did it? It did, but after I finish every service, it pops an ad asking me to buy the game. Oh, that's awful. Yep, I'm like, hmm. So I'm not really I'm not really enamored with that. And I suppose you can't go back now. No, I can. I still got Train Some World too. I can still use that. No. Oh. And there's still a lot of achievements that I want to get on Train Some World too because they don't move those that set of achievements forward. Like they haven't optimized it. And I learned from Kojo yesterday that um, some of the routes that you you can buy are there's two versions of the route there's the train some world 2 version and the train some world 5 compatible version and at least as of yesterday the train some world 2 versions were on offer that train some world 5 compatible was full price they're identical it's just a compatibility flag like wow yeah like that is uh shady af I can almost hear Wolf ranting about it. Oh, he won't rant about it because he'll just be like, oh, I just bought the whole thing. Well, it's like I I buy everything in SCS releases, right? Except apparently not the farm DLC machine, which I bought. But, um, you know, every map pack that they've released, I've got instantly. And so I guess I'm a bit... Like, when he releases stuff that I like, I'll just keep buying it, whatever it is. Which lane are you in back there? Yes. Okay. Hi, Battery. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. How was your AT? Uh, yeah, your ATS driving. I have Miss. I'm going to be in both lanes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Car behind you is like, what is going on? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's a one-way road, so I mean, that works out. I'm going to go in this lane now. Light turn, so I don't have to stop. Ah. Do -de -do -de -do. Only four cities to go for the Watt event. Nice. We've done three. We'll get the fourth one here in a bit. When we get to wherever we're going. Taylor for some thing. Well, no, I meant the destination. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, some of these buildings look quite old. There's lions on this building over here. And I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the duck. I've missed the duck. Okay. You should be able to see the job now, in theory. I hope so. Nope. <laughs> oh no, you're missing another piece of DLC somewhere. Which one's this? Is it like a Volvo or JCB one? I don't know. You're Gosh. such. 
You're such a mess. I just, I, yeah. Apart from me saying, yeah, I buy everything that HCSCS comes up with. Except all of the DLCs that I need. Alright, I am going to... Hot Springs. To go luxuriously relax in a hot spring. That's what I'm going with. Okay, I can take fruits to hot springs. Okay, sounds good. Probably from Funfair or whatever it's called. Yeah. That's cool, that's on the way I'm going. Okay. Navigation. I want to look at this. Is this thing a JCB? Yes, this is a JCB. Muppet. I'm going to drive through your head now. Ooh, it's empty in here. All right, empty. <laughs> Thank you. Wait for that. Ding. Uh, I was hoping that the cargo wouldn't be fruit because the first one I saw was nuts. I was like, well, I'm taking nuts. <laughs> I'm taking myself from <laughs> <laughs> one place to another. Hi, bus. I just cut you up because you're a bus and I hate buses. Oh, you return in anyway. Never mind. That's a lot of nuts. And that's just you and Doss in the same room. Heaven forbid we add Kurt to the mix. What lane are you going in? Oh, I guess my trailer is that long. <laughs> I was like, my gosh, you're way back there. <laughs> I'm sure there's room on that trailer for me as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I need so many axles for this little JCB lifter, but maybe they just need the trailer somewhere. Health and safety. We don't believe in health and safety. This is America. Oh, boss, we stopped. I will take a drink. Yeah, we still got the the straight traffic left to go. My GPU is 74% active and is at 49 degrees Celsius. Oh. oh, not that button, not that button. Yeah, I had Space Marine on medium video settings, so maybe I should crank it and see what I can do. I mean, why not? That could be hauled on a gooseneck with a pickup. Exactly, Kurt. I'm just assuming that they need the trailer for something else. That's my assumption right now. What lane are you? Why are you in that lane? I don't know. Don't you have to make don't a left? A don't you need to be in a left up here? Aren't you going to Funfair? Or Flavor Flav or whatever it's called? <laughs> I don't know. It's not for a while, though, is it? I thought Flavor Flav was right up here. Oh well, well I'll just take up both planes again. Because <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. you're going to Flavor Flav, right? Like that's where you're picking yeah. up your your nuts from, or your fruit, or whatever. I can't read what it says on the mini map. The text is too small. I'm just going with Flavor Flav because it just makes me smile. You know. Yeah. Now I need to get in the lane to go wherever it is. Yeah, you got to turn left right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm about to cut up this car so I can park over here so that you can go get your trailer. Whee! Um, right. Oh, another security entry. 
Well, they're letting you in, so it's not very secure. You gotta check if I'm not trying to steal the flavor. <laughs> and then they'll check on the way out at how many nuts you got. Just one big one behind the driver's seat. Rocket's cake. <laughs> oh, it's raining now. It is not raining for me. <laughs> Giggity? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's not sure if that's a giggity or not. <laughs> Nobody's ever sure around here. Yeah. Hmm, the guy emailed me back about the stupid thing he wants. Which stupid thing? Uh, I'm trying to sell some desks I've got. Oh, I'll message him later. Questions like, please, can you deliver it 400 miles for free? No, he, he wants to come by and look at it, and I'm like, that does mean I have to get it out in the garage because I don't let people in the house. But that thing is flicking heavy. If Das was not Gimpy McGimperson, then it'd be easy. But it's just me, so. Thankfully, I've got my ways of managing without without uh, second help. Can you put it on some sort of dolly or tra trailer type thing? I, I've got two car dollies that can take an entire, you know, uh, that, uh, put an entire car on there and just move it around. So I literally will use one on one end until I get to the door and then I will uh, flick it over to the other one once I get over the threshold. That way it's super easy. Yeah, that's how we did it with the big wardrobe. Oh. So it's raining for me now. Yeah, that's good. Your mom I just, could... I accidentally dropped on, on my partner's foot, and it, 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 after that his, his toenail fell off. Oh, well, it happens. Especially with squirrels. Always happens. Uh, my mom could return a favor. My mom, <laughs> I had to get my mom involved in the shenanigans yesterday with Das's injury thing and car shuffle and all of that. So uh, calling my mom again, my mom would be like, what? It's bad enough. My mom calls my cell phone and because Das answered it because I was driving, then there was a text from my mom later Whose cell phone is this? I'm confused. I'm like, Mom, oh my gosh. How dementia riddled are you at this stage? That's funny. Well, I, I texted her dates for for this coming week, right? For hmm. Das being away. And my, ma my mom was like, well, I thought Das was gone already. I'm like, do you not know how dates work? Like, wh why are we having this conversation exactly? So, I might call my brother. Well, I mean, you all don't know how dates work because you, you're weird and you put the, the date in the middle. I do it very, I do it very, um, I bridge the gap. If I'm saying like 20, September 22nd, I will put 22-SEPT. Yeah. Like that way, nobody and can be confused yeah. by that. And I don't even put the gear unless I absolutely have to because really needs the year. Oh, I don't know. You could have a very important engagement next year that you need to put in a calendar somewhere. If I had to put in a calendar, yes, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to call my brother and be like, all right, because you're the youngest. Remember, she's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sisters tell him that all the time. It's like, you're the youngest. So therefore, He's like, great, thanks. How was your bro doing? Is he getting on okay? Oh yeah, yeah. He's enjoying being back in school. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's an advanced program. It's he's getting both his master's and his PhD at the same time. Awesome. Yep. It's like a three-year program, and then he'll have his master's and his PhD. 
in materials engineering. Gotta engineer that material somehow. Yeah, like like um, that company did with that submarine that went down the Titanic. Hmm, Ocean Gate. Yeah, they engineered them materials. Yeah, I was watching a few documentaries about that. It's quite scary, really. And then I went down a rabbit hole of all of the, the deep sea vehicles that have made it down to the uh, the Mariana Trench and all that. That was really really interesting. Well, so. Um, Scott something he's I can't remember his name but he's an he's a he's an engineer that went up to space and lived on the space station and blah 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 anyway um, he was looking at the pictures taken by the ROV of the Titan and the the front hemisphere is completely separated intact from the rest of the sub and then all of the um, carbon fiber is basically rammed into the back hemisphere. Yes, and the bit in the middle is where the pin would be. Well, they would have been rammed into the back as well. Um, they became mist in uh, a few nanoseconds, so they never even felt it. Which oh, is so good. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's not the astronaut you're talking about, but he does do space videos, Scott Manley. Yes, yeah. Manley, fly safe, that guy. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, they got turned into a mist in milliseconds. The brain processes in in um, tenths of a second, and this happened in hundredths of a second. So the brain never processed it. Those people just got turned into a mist. Um, but that failure mode indicates that the failure was in the junction between the, tit the titanium ring for the front hemisphere and the carbon fiber. Yeah, whereas all the simulations were predicting that it would fail from the middle. Yep. That's statistically the weakest point, but yeah, it was the joint at the front that just caused everything to squish. Yep. And people went sploosh, literally sploosh. I suppose that's the the best way it could have happened. Well, yeah, they would have they would have been They're like, hey. for it. well, yeah, they they were you know, yay, we're almost to the Titan. Done. <laughs> Didn't even register that anything was happening. Yeah, if I can order my way out like that, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to see it coming. But from an engineering standpoint and a materials science perspective, it was an interesting video and <sighs> crazy how it was even allowed to operate, really. Hi, trucks. Thanks. Appreciated that. Jerk waffles. He's not going for a mutt degree like me. You be quiet, Kurt. Just because my master's degree is the weirdest, and my undergrad is also extremely odd. I've given up even I'm trying. Normal compared to yours. Yeah. Well, I I've given up even trying to explain my degree to people. Just like I have a BA in communications and a master's in English. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> What's louder, the helicopter or the frogs? Frogs. Gave those frogs a lot. Frogs. <laughs> In the middle of the night, frogs. Frogs. It is a mud degree, Kurt. I mean, it is totally a mud degree, but yeah. Like I said, I gave up even explaining it to people because as soon as you start, uh, as soon as I'm like, yeah, Bachelor of Communications, Concentration in Mathematics and Engineering, Master's in English, Concentration in International Risk Communication around Nuclear Incidents, people are like, uh, so what do you do? sit around and babysit a bunch of adults that should be doing their own damn job. That's what I do. Hi, truck. I'm going to need to be in that lane. 
And you're not gonna like it if I just do it, but. Don't deposit the car. I'm right behind you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, he wasn't. Oh, I had two lanes. I didn't need to deposit him, but didn't know he that. Didn't stop. I believe he just slowed down. I did have to drop four gears though. <laughs> and then you have to find them all again. Yep. Oh, another adorable little game I picked up for super cheap on Steam is called Loddle Nought. I don't know if you saw me put a screenshot of it in Discord. It is the most adorable underwater game ever. Where you got to clear up goop off the ocean floor and then rescue these little creatures called models. And it's just so cute. I love it. So, Subnautica stream when? No. <laughs> Subnautica 2 is coming out soon, so that'll probably be a thing. Yeah, it's I supposed to be multiplayer too. I haven't played the first one yet since they added a story. Half the zones that's in the game now weren't even there when I played it last, so I might play it again on my own. And then we'll play Subnautica 2 in multiplayer. There will not be squeaks of terror at all. It's just when you can see the bottom of the, the ocean, it's fine. But then when you go and there's just nothing in any direction, with ominous noises. Just, no, no. I don't think I will. Did you hear about they finally discovered what was creating the um, the weird undersea noises? The, like, very low frequency noises with the boops and clicks? I would just have assumed a whale. Yeah, but they couldn't figure out which whale it was. They, they were like, what's going on? And they I only heard it really, really rarely. It was a very rare noise. And they'd hear it down like the Marianas Trench. This is the first time they picked it up. Hmm. Turns out it is a whale. It's a very rare kind of whale um, that lives in the North Pacific. And they, what was cool about it is Noah has huge inventory of underwater noise data. But it's so much, no human can listen to it. It's millions of hours of data. But they... That's an example for an AI model. Exactly what they did. They used um, Google's Gemini system. Yeah, so that's a good use of AI. Mm -hmm. And they were actually able to track where the whales were going, or where the noise was originating from. And then they cross-referenced it with tracking this particular species of whale that they were they were sus was the the cause of it but we're not 100 sure and sure enough they were able to to cross reference and go yes that whale is there when that noise occurs hmm. but it's a it's such a low frequency noise that it can be heard in the <laughs> it can be heard in the atlantic from the pacific wow i know undersea travels crazy long because of the wavelengths and stuff so that makes sense yeah. Sorry, I looked away for just a second and that was what happened. Mm hmm I'm going straight at this junction, so I will see you in a moment. Alrighty. I'm potentially going to cause chaos, because, you know, it's just what I do. Game, quit having a leg fest. Do I want to do this? Probably yeah, nothing. it's pretty laggy for me. Good idea. So we'll blame the love tap on the lag yeah sure lag of my eyeball not being at looking at the screen mainly mm -hmm. yeah i'm not gonna do this i'll do that on the way back i'm gonna make you pick the next one so i don't pick another random one that you can't you do because you don't have the random dlc than when you buy every dlc but somehow don't buy all the dlc car are you still over there no established I don't have the JCB and I might not have the Volvo. I think you have the Volvo because I think we went through that shenanigan show previously. Yeah it must be just the JCB then because I got farm machinery and I got uh, logging machinery. Well you do now. I do now. Oh that is completely the wrong way around. I just made a right mess of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kurt's back to railroader. It's his new hyperfixation. So, well, I mean, there was that for a while, and then there's always, he always squirrels his way back into farm sim eventually, and who knows with him. Farm sim, he says. You want me to put this where? Oh, you want me to put it down down there? Oh, okay. That's not going to be um, interesting at all. You gave me a giant multi-axle trailer and you're going to send me down into a pit. This is fun. <laughs> I mean, thankfully this feels... I had to pull off just to get into this parking space involved going into a bush and a tree and then round the corner so well we the nice thing is at least this reminds me 100 percent of scania truck driving sim so the game that one g only played one time and he wouldn't play it anymore it is quite difficult though right i mean yeah maybe There are some missions that are absolutely ridiculous in that game, but... <clears throat> All right. Uh, continue. Arrive. I guess putting that little little telehandler on that big trailer makes sense now, because I, I just delivered it to this hit that it kind of now makes sense, I guess. Well, I don't have anything from here. If you Other say... Little Rock. Have we been to Little Rock? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Okay. I'm at Taylor, if you want, if there's anything from Taylor. I just glanced at my fuel. Why am I burning so much fuel? I don't know. Oh, Jonesburg? Yeah, we have. Yeah. I love the bot, the the Twitch bots out in force today, trying so hard to post messages in my in my chat, being slapped down by my bot. Let's, um, I'm going to go get this viewpoint, and then, um, yeah, we're running this red light, because fluff it. Oh, it changed green. Never mind. I'm not running the red light now. <laughs> and maybe we'll fast travel somewhere. Or actually, we only have nine minutes, so maybe... Um, ooh, leg spiky. We're running that red light. How about you come to me where I'm at this um, viewpoint downtown, and then we'll, by the time you get here, we'll probably be in a position to call it. Also, the leg yeah. is getting bad, and with the leg and us in this uh, direct connect multiplayer, it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, this uh, city is a bit laggy for me. It's becoming more and more a problem, I think, in in ATS. More and more, well, and in ETS too. More and more, when I go into cities, I'm starting to get these weird leg spikes. It's got to be something with the way they they did the ray tracing work. We're just mad that they've uh, bolted on ray tracing on 2013 game. Yeah, well, yeah, and that's probably why things are questionable at best. And it's their own engine, right? So it's not even the yeah. Unreal or whatever. Yeah. Oh, 
Hot Springs National Park. Let me know when you get close to me and I'll get out of this cutscene thing. I'm just letting it play. Well, those are pretty buildings, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, Kurt, I, I need to send how I set, how, well, I don't know. I don't think I set it up. I think Das set it up. I need to send it to Fad, too. I'm like, ugh, I used the bot. I did the work, or Das did the work. Somebody did the work, and uh, it works a treat. I think I've gone to the wrong place. Have I? I don't know. Where are you? Oh, I saw a photo icon and headed for that, not the... The film icon. You muppet. Yeah. Yeah. There. I'm going to park my truck right here at the stop sign in front of the coffee shop because Quachita Coffee. Actually, is it? I mean, they've done a great job with this town. I'm just. It looks lovely. The, the leg just upsets me greatly. Kojo was upset because um, uh, Steam, cha uh, Steam changed the uh, screenshot manager and it annoyed him greatly. Uh, who was that? Uh, Tay! Tay Z Fast. Welcome in. Welcome! to the squirrel house um, or squirrel corner or squirrel whatever. Uh, the monkeys are happy to see you. Monkeys love everybody. Monkeys might bite you because they're monkeys. Uh, it's all right, they've had their shots. We know where they've been and we do have monkey bite kits. Farmer Kurt on the other hand, doesn't have his shots. Don't know where he's been. He does bite. We do not carry Farmer Kurt bite kits, so watch out for him. Hello. Honk to you too, where's my honker? I thought you were going to leave your Western star and go to something else, but you probably squirreled and forgot, didn't you? No. no. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll end a little bit early just because... Why did I put that stop sign right in my face? There we go. Oh, my gosh. Stop it, camera. 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 Oh, goodness. We're going to go over here then and get those off the screen. There. Var. Party. Um, we'll, we'll end a few minutes early just because there's no five-minute job out of here. Uh, so much purple. I know. I know. Uh, at least I got the I got the red with the horse. There you go. Um, well, we're going to get out before the sad break. So um, thank you all very much. Thank you, Serenar. Thank you. Uh, there will be no Serenar next week. Don't know if I'll stream next week. Um, so it'll be like the week after that for sure. But keep apprised on Discord if I do stream. We're going to go raid Fluffy if Fluffy is streaming. If not, we'll raid someone else. Uh, so take care, everyone, and bye. Bye-bye. I didn't even go over too much to do it. Woo! Second try the ball. Zero, we've secured all the floors. Our mission is complete. Good work, Zero. Thank you. Don't forget to get the flame chip. Hiya! Yay! <gasps> Before you come back to the base, give. Yeah! I'm not sure whether to blame the new remote or just persistence on this. Okay, can't make that. Whoop! They pushed me off! <laughs> <coughs> I'm okay! I am okay! A lot of stuff from place to place. Are we going right here? Oh dear. <laughs> That one is expected right there. <laughs>